Welcome to Cable Splicer Tech Channel. What we are going to see in this video is an Oprotech Pond Power Meter Unboxing, Live Testing, and the difference between a normal optical meter and a Pond Power Meter. Box inside, User Manual, Calibration Certificate, Software CD, Carry Bag Inside, Pond Power Meter, Cleaning Item. FCSC APC connector, USB cable, pond meter backside mentioned, video 1550 nm measurement range, minus 50 to plus 20, on alt measurement range, minus 40 to plus 10, 1310 nm for on, 1490 nm for alt, and 1550 nm for video EDFA signal, optical detector type, INGA as, optical connector, FCSC APC, fiber type, 9125 um, display, LCD, 12864, power supply, 3AA15V battery, weight G, 285, price, 9500 available on Amazon, now let's check this pawn meter, first, take this SCUPC patch cord from the aunt, and give it to this pawn meter, Old video port. This pawn meter comes with an SCA PC type connector. And we provide a SCU PC type patch card. Thus, there will be a difference of 2 dB in the measurement. In the pawn meter, minus 17 point to 6 dBm shows the signal from the old at 1490 nm wavelength. Next, SCU PC full patch card on the pawn meter. Oh, knee part connect to the pawn meter on port. Connect the other part of the patch cord to the optical port of the on. Now the PON meter shows the results. 1310 nm on. Minus 2.17 dBm. 1490 nm alt. Minus 17.0 dBm. 1550 nm video. Minus 46.56 dBm. 1550 nm video. Minus 46.56 dBm low. Because we didn't mix the EDFA signal into it. Oprotech Pond Meter contains software CD. To install this software in computer and connect via USB cable. To export data from Pond Meter to computer. And to calibrate a Pond Meter. Now let's check this pond meter in WDM signal. This patch cord contains a CV cable TV and internet signals. Thirteen ten nm on low, fourteen ninety nm alt, minus twenty to point one zero dBm, fifteen fifty nm video, plus seven point eight five dBm. The ordinary optical power meter has only one test optical port, while the PON optical power meter has two. This is because the PON optical power meter needs to be connected to the PON network line in series during the test, so to test optical ports are required. One is connected to the 1490 nm optical signal sent from the connected old, and the other is connected to the 1310 nm optical signal sent from the connected ONU. On the other hand, the uplink 1310 nm signal sent by the optical cat in the PON network is usually TDMA time division multiplexing, so the transmitted signal is in burst mode. The optical power meter cannot accurately capture burst signal. So only the PON optical power meter can accurately measure the uplink and downlink signals in the PON network. The PON power meter can simultaneously measure the optical power of the uplink 1310 nm, downlink 1490 nm, 
and 1550 nm. Divisor A120 versus Op Rotec Pond Power Meter. Optical power difference is plus or 1 dBm. Without a pond meter, we check WDM optical signal level using the FWDM module. The pond power meter is specially designed for pond network construction and maintenance and can be connected between alt and on. The voice, data, and video signals 13, 10, 14, 90, 15, 50 online can be measured synchronously. And the optical power value 13, 10, 14, 90, 15, 50 can be displayed with this meter. We can change the connector from SC to FC. This product is available on Amazon. Buy this product. The link is in this video description. For more English videos, subscribe to our Cable Splicer Tech English YouTube channel.